Hello again. So this morning I popped on and I was showing you my first attempt at a raised stencil. So I did say I might give you a little progress report and um, it's looking good. I've used the hairdryer to dry it off uh, and I'm pretty pretty pleased with the outcome. I've painted over it as I, was, as I said I was going to and um, now I've done some dry brushing of my Bronze Age wax. Um, so I've got one that I've done that I'm hiding, it's behind me. And then I'm gonna show you what I did on the other end. So for those of you that were watching this morning, it's Nikki from Gracie's house. We did the raised stencil using Dixie Bell Mud and the Giovanna Flourish um, stencil by Redesign with Prima. And I talked about what I was planning to do. Um, so this is the outcome. I'm gonna move, big reveal. Ta -da! Hi Elaine. So I'm really, really pleased with this. Do you wanna see if I can move the camera a bit closer? I wanted it subtle. So those, those of you that watched this morning, um, I used the brown Dixie Bell mud, uh, Dixie mud. Um, and it actually looked really, really cool having it brown. Um, so this is, this is, I've also been, so this is the front of the cabinet. So it did look really cool in brown up against, so this, this is um, the Silk Range by Dixie Bell, and this is Black Sands. And the Dixie Mud did look really, really sweet. So if, if anyone is watching this one that didn't watch earlier, just have a little um, peek back at my page and this morning's post, this morning's live, sorry, you'll see how we got to here. But this was my plan and I'm really, really pleased how it's happening, how it's coming along. So we've got Elaine and Maria and Robin's popped on. Hi guys. Um, so I painted over, I've dried it with my hairdryer. I've painted over with another layer of black sands and I've dried that off as well because I was too impatient this morning. It was just coming along so nicely. So I've then used a combination of these two. So this is just a really, really cheap um, natural bristle brush. And this is the really, really lovely two inch blending slash wax brush by Redesign with Prima. I love this one, but just for, I was just, I didn't want to go all the way around it. I didn't want to get too much going on um, outside of my raised stencil. So I kind of used a combination of both. Now this one's new for me. This is um, the Bronze Age uh, Art Alchemy Metallic Wax. It's so gorgeous. So admittedly, I've used Eternal on this brush and I haven't washed it. So it's, it's picking up a little bit of gold from this, but mostly I use the small brush and that's, I've only used this new wax for that one. Hi, Laurie. Um, so this is the one that's been done. And I, this is exactly what I wanted it to do. I wanted it to look really, really subtle. So you guys that watch these videos are gonna get, are getting sneaky peeks of, of the cabinets that I'm working on rather than waiting to see because as I turn things around you'll see so you see I've picked out from this morning again I've picked out all of these details with this same wax I think I've got I think I need to do a bit more on this side I've gone gone a bit heavier over here so I need to balance that out but I picked out all of the hardware and this is all with the bronze age and that's why I wanted to tie in the sides with the bronze age I don't know if you can see I've even gone down onto the legs and dry brushed over the legs just to give it a really subtle shimmer so it's really, I'm, I'm loving. Okay, so this end is just painted, but you can still see it. And even that on its own, I'm really, really loving the finish. Um, so can you see how subtle it is? Hi, Elaine, isn't it really cute, isn't it? Hi, Erin, hi, Deborah. Um, what is hi, Anne and Sally as well. So, so this is just the race stencil and just painted over, which actually I think is a really, really nice effect as well. So um, I will probably use, at some point down the line, just a project with just painted over, just to keep it really subtle. Okay, so what I'm doing is I've got a bit of tissue paper. Now, when I use the decor waxes, the pot's bigger, so it's easier to get the whole brush in, give it a really subtle thing, and then I just brush it off. But because it's a tube, I'm having to just squeeze a little bit out, and I literally, that's all I'm using at a time. Can you see? It's a tiny bit. I don't know. It's lovely, isn't it? I'm so... You know when you... 
I often say this, but when you have something in your mind and it's really good when it turns out how you want, how you see it in your head. Erin, it's really subtle, isn't it? Now I'm going to go for my small brush. So I'm just rubbing it in to get it kind of coated. So this is where the dry brushing comes in. Now I do use these waxes and apply with my finger quite often. If you've seen my, my pieces. Um, but the last couple of pieces I've used is to just dry brush and it does get... Hi, Sadie. How are you? It just does give a different effect. So it's, it's cute. And then I've just gone like that over the raised pieces. Now I'm using it on the side so that because I don't want it on the, the base really. I just want it to go over and pick up the details. And can you just see how that highlights it and just brings it to life a little bit more? Dixie mud sticking out. And it doesn't matter if I've gone over the edges a little. I can clean up afterwards. I can even use just a, a little a baby wipe or something. Um, or I can just touch it up with paint. So I'm not I'm not too precious, but I want to try and keep it as tight as I can on the design. And you see now how that ties in with all the other raised details on the front of the cabinet. And again, I'll show you the reason I picked this to go on the side. Hi Kelly and Barb and C Cindy, Gregory, I think you were watching this morning. Hi Kelly. <laughs> so I'll give you another little flash reason why I picked this sort of damasky flourished pattern that's it that's I'm going to leave it there and just buff over just in case there's any bits of gold there. you see what I've gone here I've gone a little bit over it doesn't really show up on the camera but I can just go in and touch up with a little brush and there's a tiny bit there like I said I'm not too um precious um, so I'll just turn it here and show you why they match so well. Oh, I'll do that one. So can you see what I've done in here? Let's just move the camera over a little bit. Um, those of you that watch me uh, regularly, you'll see I'm a bit of a fan of the decoupage, um, the, the mulberry decoupage papers from Redesign. And I love using them for these extra details when you pop open the door or the lid I've done a blanket box with a lid um, so I'm a really big fan and they've got these this is one of the new ones this is dark I think it's dark damask it's called um, and that's why I've picked the flourish to go on the side because I thought it tied in quite nicely and I've sorted the top out so I'm happy with the top that just needs top coating so anyone that was watching this morning again you'll know this is the um, the Voodoo Gel Stain in Tobacco Road on the top. So it's a really muted kind of brown. The, the brown of the gel stain, no pain gel stain, uh, the oil-based one, is a very rich brown. This is muted and it's exactly the look I wanted to go for, for this cabinet. So I'm just going to add a little, no, 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 see? Yeah, like I said, I'm gonna, try. I might as well do that while you're on here. So I'm back to my, my bigger one, um, just because it, holds a little bit more product. I'm just gonna work it in over the, and try and balance it out. I've not got much product left on there, so I'm having to work a bit harder. I'm just gonna squeeze another little bit out. And rub it in a bit. So as always guys, if you've got any questions about any products I'm using or techniques I'm working with, um, you're more than welcome to drop me a message, drop some, drop it in the comments. I'll catch it up if I haven't already uh, s uh, attended to, to it while I'm on live. I'll, I generally will pick them up through the day and I keep try and keep track of any extra comments that come in. There we go. Does that look a bit more matchy now? Or a, bit, a bit more? Yeah, that's better. Okay. 
um, I think that's it. As I said, I, I t Kelly, oh, what am I using there? So I've got the, um, I think, I don't think you came on. So I showed this morning as well. It's the Bronze Age Art Alchemy uh, Metallic Wax. Kelly Gold, yes. Normally I do use Eternal, which is the gold. This is Bronze Age, it's just a bit darker. Um, and so I, 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 can you see that I've kind of just done it on the edges, all on the corners. Let me move you over there. You see I've just smudged it in around the edges. Almost like when you distress something, you kind of distress where things would naturally distress. I've just kind of put it where it looked a bit, a bit sort of natural. That's the plan anyway. <laughs> Kelly, yes. So the, um, do you know what? I haven't got any to hand because I don't keep all my stocks in my workshop. So yeah, this is this tube. This is the new packaging. So the Art Alchemy waxes used to come in little pots. Um, you know, the decor wax comes in a pot about that sort of big. The Art Alchemy ones were more like that sort of size. This is just the new packaging. So same product. I, I think they might have changed the kind of consistency slightly. Um, hence it's in a tube and you can squeeze it out um, but you know it does the same job brilliant and like I said all I'm having to do instead of dipping my brush straight into it and rubbing it off on tissue is just squirt a bit on and rub it round to do the dry brushing okay um, hi Kelly we now have them here yeah they're, they're just filtering out I think if you've got retailers that have got old old stocks that's that's all still fine they're just um, they're just filtering out and then this this will be the replacement packaging Erin my color choices are perfect oh thank you it's do you know what because I've done this exactly the same cabinet in antebellum blue with some palmetto and mermaid tail and stormy seas and a bit of limeade and some gold digger and um, when I first got another one because I love these cabinets I all I could see was the original one that I'd done um, so I thought about it for, for maybe a couple of days and then it came to me. Um, so I think someone else has just asked, Barb, the colour is Black Sands, which is part of the new Silk range by Dixie Bell. So those of you that are in um, America, you're having to wait a little bit longer for Silk, but it's fab. Let me just grab the paint pot so you can see what it looks like. There you go. So that's the colour and the product. Janice, it looks great, doesn't it? I'm, I'm, I'm really, really pleased with this. Um, yeah. So, it's, it's a strange cabinet. I think they must have been, perhaps, um, radio cabinets, because, or you know, like a record, record player. But the internals are really, really tidy. This one doesn't have a shelf, but it has the banjos, and the banjo holes to be able to have a shelf. Um, the one I did before had a shelf in. So it's a lift up top and a nice big wide cabinet too. This one had a big hole cut in the back, so I've replaced the panel at the back. So can you see it's lighter? I'm going to stain that up so it's not quite so obvious. Um, and I've painted the back again, so that's not too obvious as well. Okay, guys, I've shown you far too much of this. You're not supposed to be seeing this. Now I've got to make a really, really amazing picture so it looks even more dramatic than you liking this. Hi, Sue. Oh, Barb, you're going to love silk. Silk, it is fab. If you've, have, you, have any of you guys used Fusion, um, silk is going to kind of be likened to Fusion, um, but with the added um, benefit of it having a stain blocking primer in, in addition to a top coat, all in one. Drinks cabinet. Kelly, it could be, um, but it's quite low for a drinks cabinet. And if you did have the shelf in, you wouldn't get any bottles in. This is, there, this is a strange one. And it's Old Charm. So over here, Old Charm is, um, uh, it's, they can be quite, it goes back a bit. So it's that kind of Tudor, Jacobean style. Um, but yeah, anyway, so there it is. Guys, thanks again for watching. Um, I know I always say it, if you're watching on replay or if you catch up, just pop a hashtag replay in um, so that I can just see that you're still watching me. Um, and also um, just pop on and like and follow my page if you haven't already done. That's brilliant. Thank you. Hang on, I've got one more question someone's put. I shared your pick on my post today of the cabinet I did in black. Oh, yes, Janice, you did. I saw that. It's really, oh, it's a lovely colour, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, guys, thanks. Speak to you soon. Bye.